Uh, I just wanted to just summarize this, some news on Coakley and the EPA. Yes. Mm. Uh, EPA orders changes to Coakley landfill. Hold on, I just landfill bedrock study. And Robert, hold on, I gotta get some Robert Hell, I think, who is one second here, sorry. Richard Hell, I'm sorry, who is the remedial project manager, mm. stated the CLG shall prepare a final work plan that incorporates the comments and conditions above and includes a schedule for implementation of the final work plan and submission of a final report. Pretty much what he has come to the conclusion is what they are doing is not detailed enough and not catered enough to what's going on. So <coughs> I would just like to say that this is probably the direct result of all the work that Representative Mindy Mesmer has done yeah. and that the EPA and NH and New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services are really going to be looking at what's going on at Coakley and it's great news. Good. Go on Absolutely. to let everyone know. I had I, uh, I just uh, follow up on that, Regina. I think sure. One of the things that was mentioned in the newspaper article was that the uh, Mr. Hall is uh, apparently going to follow up on a suggestion that we've been making repeatedly through Professor Ballesteros' report that indicates that there is a potential for flow to southeast. the south and to the east, mm -hmm. of which, of course, is the direction of the Aquarian wells that have experienced PFC concentrations. Uh, Finally, the EPA seems to recognize that, yes, we sh they should at least explore whether or not, in fact, through bedrock uh, investigation, that materials have been flowing in those directions. And uh, I've spoken with Fred about that today, and uh, his thought, and I think it's a good one, is that uh, a, a letter could be sent by this board encouraging the EPA in, uh, to do that in as much as they seem to have finally recognize that and uh, at least letting them know that we appreciate that and hope they'll follow through because mm -hmm. uh, we certainly will. And uh, I've sent a copy of that article to Professor Ballestero and uh, if you don't mind, uh, we can draft a letter for the board for next week that will uh, respond to that initiative. Yeah. I think that's great. It seems like we actually have someone that might be in our corner a little bit, so. Sure. Good. Good. Thank you. I think that's a good idea. You know, and I want to thank both Regina, Phil Bean, and Andy. you, Council, for, for working diligently on this, uh, yeah. helping out Aquarian, because Aquarian also realizes how much of a problem it is. And, and Representative so, Mesmer, too. And Mes She's oh, yes, but wonderful. I'm talking for our, 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 people. our people here yeah. uh, for really jumping on board and helping out with that. So thank you yeah. very much. Thank you. Thank you, Regina. I